Welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a marriage question and answer type video. This is my husband, Roderick, and our son, Roderick. <laughs> Do ya. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get started okay. answering questions about um, our relationship and some good questions and some intimate questions and some I don't know some questions <laughs> I made up I, I put them out on the paper so we will not forget it it's probably going to be a two-part video I'm not sure yet depending on how long it takes for me to um, record this video yeah I don't want it to be too long so it may be a two-part video so we're gonna get started drum roll <laughs> <laughs> Number one question is who asked for the first date? You. Oh. Daddy. What was the first date? Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. No. Oh. I don't think we ever went on a proper date, so. No. It's kind of hard to. I don't think we ever went on a proper date, so. Um, yeah, proper date. <laughs> We just um we probably out to eat or something. I can't even remember. So that's probably, yeah. It probably wasn't no real nah, day. Nah, it was a country day. You just simple country people. No nothing. <laughs> See around and chit chat. <laughs> yeah, I think the first time um our first date a date um was when he came to our house. Yeah, we getting to know each other. We just was talking and um, uh, getting to know each other. Lying, but I was a good guy. Wait, you're not gonna say all that. Bye. Number two question is who is less likely to ask for directions when they are lost? Me. Less likely. I don't need to ask for directions. Less likely. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm the one that's always lost. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one that's oh, always yeah. lost, even when we have GPS. Like, I always get lost, and I don't even understand why. The third question is the most important question is, who wear the pants in the relationship? I do. No. <laughs> I just let you feel like you wear the pants. I call the shots in this relationship. Is that right? Yeah, my no. Okay, yeah. Number four question is, who said I love you first? Oh yeah. It, I I do everything. You probably was the one that said. You said it. he's Bye. a little sentimental too. So I I believe it was you. They said I love you first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I can't recall that one, but it probably was Roger. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah. You just saying you. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, Number five question is who how. The sheets in the bed. Ain't nothing about the cover too little then. <laughs> no, you hog the cover. You hog the sheets and the cover in the bed. Man, I like to be cold. Number six. Who is better at managing money? Daddy. Yeah. No. Right. Yeah. No, it's mommy. Dang, that's the right answer for me. <laughs> it's me. No. It's me. Like, I do buy stuff, but I do calculate what I'm spending plus what we have. So, until I am, see I am better at managing money. No, I do wait until you put some more money in the account. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, you put some more money in the account. And then, I, I go from there. So, I'm, the, I'm better at managing money. He just don't, he just, you know, spend money. He just don't, you know, think about stuff. Don't calculate this stuff. I, I do all the calculations. So, I'm better at managing the money. Oh. Number seven question is, which spouse is the funniest? And I'm going to say Roger is the funniest because mm, he just, you know, always make us laugh when we're mm. feeling down. And I don't know, he just brightens the room anytime he come in there. So. And my name is Roger Senior. <laughs> <laughs> eight is. Who says I'm sorry first after an argument? I believe that we are both stubborn. Right. You guys want to say? The only time I would say I'm sorry if I know that I did wrong and um, 
I, I, I'm woman enough to admit it, and I'll tell him I'm sorry. But other than that, neither one is going to say I'm sorry. For no, you. I have to say sorry when I'm not wrong, just to kill the vibe. So I'm the first to say sorry. No, you're not. Number nine is who usually wins an argument. Me. Yeah, he probably right because I just don't like to argue too much. Because you argue before you think. You're right, I do, right, boy. Yeah. yeah. He, 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 he's right about that one. I have no argument about that. Yeah. Number 10 is who is the better listener? It's definitely not Roger. Uh, he don't listen at all. Like, I could be talking to myself. I'm probably talking to myself now. He's reading these questions. No, he's not. See, I heard like that. Okay. Yeah, but I'm the better listener. Number 11 is who is most likely to plan a date? Yeah. I mean, because um, I don't think my husband ever took me on a date that <laughs> he planned by himself. I'm just... Daddy. Like yeah. tonight, I tried to get us to go to the movies, but they did not work. So, but he's got to go back to work, so I understand. So, yeah. See, now, Baby, have you ever taken me on a date that you planned first? That you planned first? Yeah. Where? Friday when you take the money to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve is who has the most clothes? Not me. Not me neither. Y you have the most clothes. Do we need to go check the closet? No. He has the most clothes. Maybe. You have the most clothes. Remember you got the drawers in the closet. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. So yeah, he has the most clothes. He don't see it. I mean, every time we go somewhere or every time we do something, he wants me to buy something new. And I don't understand why because he has a closet full of stuff. So. No, I like fresh stuff. Like, you like fresh food. You only wear it one time, so it is fresh. But when we eat it, get one stain, it's done. So No, yeah. it don't have no stains on your clothes. I see the stains. You don't. Yeah. So, yeah. Number 13 is who loves the other spouse the most? I do. I think that's a hard question because I think we both love each other very much. Right? Right. Number 14 is who is most likely to be on time? Definitely me. It takes me no time to get ready. I mean, including taking a bath and getting ready, putting makeup on. But he waits to the last minute to get ready. So I'm the one that's always on time. He's never on time. I do be on time. Never. I, you know, I just throw my car up all the way out. You know? Number 15 is who is better at getting up early? Mm, man. Really? When do you ever wake up early? Oh, every time I go to work. <laughs> <laughs> and you still don't hardly get up right. But I just get up early in the year. No, you don't. I get up the earliest because I put Ava on the bus room and I always be up earlier than you. And even on weekends, I'll be the one that's up early because I'll be the one that get the baby. And he likes to sleep till like 11 or 12 o'clock in the afternoon and I just don't think it's fair. Because I'll be up with the baby before you get up with the baby. So I catch that shift to sleep <laughs> in my alarm o'clock, bro. Okay, not the shift, yeah. Yeah, this year if you take the yeah. The most important question, I think we have number 16, is who spends the most time on Facebook? Daddy. Thank you, Junior. I don't know why the video. Cause but you still spend the most time. I love drive. I like to look at the video. It's just be amusing, funny, you know. I love Facebook. Okay. Yeah, I love Facebook. <laughs> so you're the <laughs> he, he's the one that spends the most time on Facebook. No. 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 I be what? I drive. I can't. You just said yeah. So you're not the one that spends the most time on Facebook? Yeah. I'm okay. Not. Number seventeen is which spouse is the most stubborn? You. No. It's not me. Why am I stubborn? Baby, you will walk around this house with your no. mouth tooted up and I, I just know something wrong with you and you just would not say nothing. <laughs> until I say something first. No, I don't do that. I'm not the most stubborn. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. How? He's the most stubborn, guys. He just don't want to admit that because he's stubborn. 
Oh, um. Mommy. It's pretty stubborn, though. Okay. How? But you ain't gave me one example. I gave you one. That wasn't an example. You that gave. was an example. <laughs> no, that don't You walk around here that upset. That ain't stubborn. That is stubborn. No. Well, what's your definition of stubborn? Uh, stubborn is like holding something against somebody. Just holding something that you know they want and you want to do it. That's stubborn. Okay, I tried to get the information out of you, and you don't want what to tell me whatever you bad about or upset about. And okay, 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 okay. that's stubborn, that. right? Yeah. Okay, number eighteen is which spouse is more likely to admit when they were wrong? <laughs> definitely not me. <laughs> that's definitely not me. No, I'm not going to meet when I was wrong because half of the time I'm not wrong. You're always wrong. No. <laughs> so nobody's going to admit to that. So uh, next question. Who is the messier spouse? <laughs> I can show you the house right now and that will explain everything. So, um, yeah. It's clean until someone come home. That's all I have to say. Boy, the kids, whatever. That's no, the it's not the kids. No. <laughs> Next question is, which spouse is the oldest? Mm. Huh? Me? Why you talk so long? They can't hear I'm you. I'm the oldest at 30 years old. <laughs> 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 You're not 30 yet, but yeah. yeah He's 30. 29. I'm 25. I'm, I'm, hold on. I'm 30. I'm 29 and 12 oh months. 29 and 10 months. 29 and 10 months. That's it, yeah. About to be 30. He's 29 years and 10 months yeah. old. <laughs> Next question is, who is the most romantic? Definitely me. I always try to show him hints, give him hints of stuff that I like, but it never works. Because I'm yet to get a date that he's playing first or anything. Even uh, little simple stuff around the house. Wait, I'll let it just get straight to the action, so skip all that. We stuck together now, we just skip it. Oh, <laughs> oh no, man. Don't skip to the action. The next question is who is better at keeping secrets? I don't think we. Well, no, I, I hope we don't keep any secrets from each other. Like, if someone else tell us a secret, um, he probably would be the first person I'll call. And tell him yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> and he does me the same way. No, I do yes, you not. Do. So we don't keep secrets from each other. I don't think. What a dog. <laughs> yeah, what a dog. <laughs> the next question is: Which spouse is better with the kids? Me. Definitely me. Like they run over him. They, no control. They kids. They listen to me. See, I, I'm not. He's a good I, father. I'm a good mother. So we're both yeah. good with kids, but I'm better with the kids. <laughs> I ain't feeling weird myself. I'm better with I'm the kids. The question is, what made you realize that you wanted to be with this person? When I first met Roger, he was just, I just thought he was the cutest. Oh. So country. <laughs> oh my God. He was kind of shy. He didn't really want to say nothing. I was kind of shy. I just thought they were so cute. And I just saw something in him. We have had our problems, but I love this man. I don't know, I love it too. When I first met you, looking like you wanted to be in a better place, I wanted somebody to start a better place with. So, I've been with you. How many years later? Six, five. Is it six or five? Five. Five years later, we still stuck together. The next question is, what was the last date that we went on? Mike Anderson. And I brought you back home. And we just... The last date we went on was our anniversary. We went to a restaurant called Mike Anderson's. It was so good. We had so much fun. No kids. We really enjoyed ourselves. I think it's important for us to get some time into ourselves and just, you know. What is the one thing that you love the most about your spouse? And then what is the one thing you hate the most? She makes beautiful kids. That's the one thing you love the most about me? Make good offspring. And uh, she just get on my damn nerve. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> 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 
I hate the most. I'm just gonna start where I hate the most. I hate the most how messy he is around his house. Yeah, that's the that's the one thing I hate the most. The one thing that I love the most is that he's just a wonderful person. He's a great provider, a great husband. He's an okay husband, but he's a great father, and a great provider, and I love it the most. What is your spouse's most annoying habit? I'm gonna go there because um, he has a habit of put doing this with his feet at night while I'm trying to sleep. Or either we just laying there and it's just so annoying. That that noise is just so annoying. My wife annoying habit is just nagging, nagging, <laughs> nagging. <laughs> no, no. Nagging. Come to the door, a nag. Next question is how long can you go without making love? <sighs> Two weeks. Yeah. Man. However long he's on the road. Put enough time when I make it all those oh, God. <laughs> So I can take a little break here oh, now. My question is what is your favorite part on your your spouse's body? Mm, I think the little boobs. Well, I hate hanging <sighs> boobies. I like boobies that's perky, you know. I don't like the long ones. But <laughs> as long as they ain't sagging, I can deal with it, but that's yeah, yeah. I love my husband ears. Ears? Yeah. Oh my god, I never knew nobody like ears. I like your ears. But it's been late. There's some fetishes. We have fetishes on him. I play with your ears sometimes. Yeah. Uh, ooh. <laughs> the next question is who needs to wear more deodorant? <laughs> He always says me. He calls me onion so, for some reason, and I I don't think I ever smell like an onion. Yeah. Mm. No, I haven't. An onion. I was that bad. No, it just. <laughs> yeah. So he says I need to wear the most um more deodorant. So I'm just gonna take that. I don't, you know, whatever. Half of the time he don't have deodorant, so. Cause yeah. I don't get mustard as fast. Yeah, I don't get as mustard as fast. <laughs> Who is a better lover? Me. Me. He's more of a get get it done kind of guy. I'm more of a, you know, uh, yeah, passionate. Lay, lay back and enjoy the ride. No, I'm not. <laughs> 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 the next question is, who is going to hell? The most energy for tonight. <laughs> I have a lot of energy right now, so I don't know how I'm gonna be after I get out the shower. After the long. He look like he finna go to sleep any minute. Oh, oh no, that's just my um, idle stage. I'm in idle right now. I'm idling, you know, just idling. Until the motor get the. To... Oh my lord. <laughs> it's gonna be me. He's gonna be asleep. <laughs> Finna let that 18 gear slip. <laughs> the last and final question. I actually thought I was gonna do a part two, but I just went on and did them, um, did them all. This is the last and final question. Who is more likely to say not tonight? Like no, that. nobody, because nobody. We don't even say that. Oh, you get stubborn sometimes. You trying to, trying to. Trying to make me be, I be up all night, man. Like, yeah, yeah, ain't nobody gonna say nothing tonight, cause I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hey. not saying nobody saying nothing tonight, yeah. because I mean, you don't take that as a. He rapes me. A what? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I might sneak him, but I ain't gonna rape. <laughs> so yeah, man. that's all for tonight. Um. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if maybe you are too. new, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe right now um, so you won't miss any of more of my content. And I hope you guys really like this video. It was kind of hard trying to get my husband to sit here and do this, but I'm, I'm little, glad he participated. I'm a little tired. I got a long yeah, shift he's tired. to go. But we're finished. And um, love you yeah. guys. And. Friends still got the most energy when the shower comes. Not tonight. Come on. Oh, God. <laughs>